This video is going to be over uh, the KSP introductory problems. Okay, the sheet looks like this. Um, I'll probably just cover the first five in this video and the last five in another video so it doesn't get too long. You can scroll through and watch what you need to watch. To answer most of these questions or some of them, it does require you to have these KSP values okay, as you're doing it. So you would need those KSPs. I did not put those on the sheet for you, um, partially because I want you to know when you need to look those up when you don't need to look them up. Um, so here we go. First problem, draw the solubility in grams per liter, okay, solubility in grams per liter of aluminum hydroxide. So here's the KSP value, really, really, really small KSP value. So uh, I'll usually write this out and maybe won't always, but remember this is a solid, really small arrow to the right. Most of this is going to stay undissolved, so you get the bottom of the beaker. Then we'll produce some aluminum ions and some hydroxide ions okay, as it dissolves. Again, very, very few of these. Not much of that will dissolve. It's going to stay solid and okay, not split apart as ions because it's got such a small KSP value. Um, so to ask the solubility, so we'll set up our KSP expression. Um, so KSP equals concentration of aluminum ions to the first power times hydroxide ions cubed. Sorry about the glare again. Uh, we'll put the KSP in there, so it'd be 2 times 10 to the negative 32nd power. So this be one of those times where we're going to put in some values. So if I put in x for this molarity, this would be 3x. So I'm going to put in x and 3x, because this concentration will be 3 times that. If this is 1 molar, that'd be 3 molar. Obviously, that can be that near that big molarity. Um, this is cubed. So 3x cubed, 3 times 3 is 9 times 3 is 27x cubed times x is 27x to the fourth. So we have 2 times 10 to the negative third second equals 27x to the fourth. So we're going to divide by 27 and take the fourth root. So divide this by 27. Take the fourth root of that. So let's just write that is just the fourth, sorry. Or to the one fourth power. <coughs> you do that, you get 5.2 times 10 to the negative ninth. So remember, that is a concentration. It's really the concentration of aluminum ions, that's what X was. But for every mole of aluminum ions, there's a mole of this compound, so it's also the concentration of aluminum hydroxide. So that is your molarity. That is the maximum amount that you can dissolve. That's not very much. Okay, it's the maximum amount of aluminum ions you can have. Uh, this would be three times the amount. You multiply those, you're going to multiply to that. Um, it does want this in grams per liter rather than moles per liter. So to go from moles per liter to grams per liter, one mole of aluminum hydroxide is 78, I think, grams per mole. So you can dissolve that many grams, excuse me, 4.07 times 10 to the 7 grams per liter. Really, 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 really small amount of this can dissolve. Again, that is the maximum amount. You can dissolve less than that. That is the maximum amount you can dissolve. <clears throat> Second one, how many grams of silver chloride to dissolve in 50 liters of water at 25 degrees Celsius? Really a pretty similar problem. Okay, so silver chloride... We go, it's KSP equals concentration of silver ions times concentration of chloride ions. Uh, the KSP I have right here is 1.6 times 10 to the tenth. So we can put in X for that, X for that, which is going to be X squared. Take the square root, square root, and X is 1.26 times 10 to the fifth. Again, that'd be molarity, that'd be moles per liter. That would be your molarity of silver ions, which would be the same as your molarity of the whole compound, because it's a one-to-one -one ratio between those two. So this is the maximum amount of silver chloride you can dissolve in a liter, not in 50 liters, in a liter. So multiply that times 
50 liters and it wants it I'll cancel that it does want it in grams the number of grams you can put in there so then a mole of AGCL is 143.5 grams so moles moles cancel we have this many moles times 50 liters times that many grams that's all the grams AGCL you could make you could dissolve in 50 liters of water. Again, pretty small amount. If you try to dissolve anything over that, this much will dissolve, the rest will sit on the bottom. So if you try to put one gram of AGCL in water, um, 0.91 of it would sit on the bottom, 0 0.09 grams of it would dissolve. Uh, number three here wants to know the KSP. So we are figuring out the KSP, so I didn't give one off the chart. Maybe it's on there, maybe it's not, but it wants to know the KSP. So. Uh, 0.57 grams of thallium bromide will dissolve in one liter of water at 25 degrees Celsius. What is the KSP? So first thing we need to do is figure out what is the molarity. So we've got 0.57 grams of thallium bromide. Um, and the molar mass of thallium bromide is 284. 284.3, sorry. So that will tell us how many moles we have. That's how many moles. That's in one liter. So that's per liter. So that is our molarity. Perfect. That's what we want. We want another molarity. Um, now we can set that equal to our KSP. And for thallium bromide, um, its KSP is going to equal just the concentration of thallium times concentration of bromine. I don't really know if that's the right. Yeah, it's TL. Both of them to the first power. Well, if the molarity of the whole thing is 0 0.002, molarity of thallium is going to be 0 0.002, and bromine is going to be 0 0.002. Thallium ions, bromine ions. Multiply those two, and you're going to have 4 times 10 to 6 is the KSP value for that. I'll get two more problems on this video. Here's four and five. Um, that does say 500 milliliters right there where the glare's at um, as you're doing this. Uh, five is, again, figuring out what is the KSP, excuse me, I'm number four, sorry. Um, what mass of lead chloride must be dissolved in 500 milliliters of 25 degrees Celsius water in order for precipitate to form? Um, the temperature does matter, but this chart is at 25 degrees Celsius. Here's the KSP of lead chloride, okay? Fairly big KSP, so a decent amount can dissolve in comparison to other, other things. Um, so whenever it's asking amount that can be dissolved or solubility, we're always going to go we're always going to put in some values here. So we can go 1.6 times 10 negative fifth, put in X for lead and 2X for chlorine squared. Remember 2X Quantity squared is 4x squared times that is 4x cubed. 1.6 times 10 negative fifth equals 4x cubed. Divide by 4 and take the cube root. Okay, so divide by 4, take the cube root of that. My x value there equals 0 0.0159 molar or moles per liter. So that's moles of lead because that was what x was which is the same thing as lead chloride, so that's moles of lead chloride that will dissolve per liter. That's the maximum number you can dissolve per liter. Again, that's 0 0.0159, sorry about that glare again. Um, it wants to know the mass in 500 milliliters of water, so we're gonna say a mole of lead chloride is 278.2 grams. So one grams on top, and we have times 0.5 liters, because 500 milliliters is that. Liters, liters, cancel. We're left with grams. What is the mass you can dissolve? 2.20 grams. 
would be the maximum amount you can dissolve. So anything above that would cause a precipitate. So anything, anything greater than 2.2 grams would cause a precipitate. You could put exactly this much in it would dissolve. Anything above that would cause a precipitate. One more question here. Number five, 9.4 grams silver sulfate will dissolve in two liters of water. Forgot the KSP. So we want to know the KSP. Um, silver sulfate is Ag2SO4. So I split it apart into silver ions, two moles of silver ions, plus a mole of sulfate ions. Um, so first thing we need to do is figure out what is the molarity. So we're going to say we have 9.4 grams of silver sulfate. And the grams per mole is 311 point. So, and we have two liters of solution. So that's going to give us moles over liters. Right here, get our moles and by liters to get molarity. That would give us 0 0.015 moles per liter. <coughs> Now we want to know the KSP. So remember, this is moles of Ag2SO4. So the KSP equals concentration of silver ions squared times concentration of sulfate ions to the first power. Silver ions squared, sulfate ions there. Um, if this is the molarity of the whole compound, when it splits apart, it's going to make two moles of silver ions. This is going to be double for silver. So for silver, we're going to put in 0.03 squared. Sulfate ions are in a one-to-one -one ratio with the compound, so it's going to be 0 0.015 to the first. So square the 0 0.03, multiply by 0 0.015, and our KSP equals 1.36 times 7 fifth. All right, there's the first five. I will uh, put the other five on another video. Have a great day.